When I was in Virginia Beach, yeah, raise your, raise your hand, Cyrus and Emily, right there, yeah. When I was in Virginia Beach, I met with uh, a guy named Jack. He became my mentor. And he would ask me all the time. I met with him every week for about an hour. And he would ask me all the time, have you ever seen a hearse pulling a U-Haul? And it was a pretty weird question. I'd always be like, uh, no, I still haven't seen one in the last, you last meet that two weeks ago. And he said, of course you haven't, Pete. Because naked you come and naked you go. So you better find out what matters in this life and give yourself to it. You have no time to waste. And I thought to myself, yeah, that's actually, uh, that's pretty good. So my first thought for you guys that I want you to take away, if you don't take away anything else, is this. And Dominion has such a great way of sharing this with you guys, is your life matters. What you do in your life matters. And Dominion has been trying to help you guys to live a life of significance and meaning and purpose. But how much it matters and how significant it is is up to you. It's going to be up. He's like, nah, it's done. This speaker's not that good. I got to go. Get out of here. Um, he's like, no, nah, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta leave. It's messed up. Um, all right. So this is the question. How? How do you lead a life of significance, right? Because I think each one of you would say, I don't want to just have my life start and then have it end and having not made my mark on the world. This is the how, okay? I want you to, for a second, everybody close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. I want you to imagine your funeral right now. I know it's a little bit morbid. I know. Shh. I know it's hard to do. Shh. It's hard to do. Shh. Close your eyes, Stephen. Close your eyes. Stephen, close your eyes. Okay, good. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Shh. <laughs> if you can see me, your eyes aren't closed. So <laughs> close your eyes. Imagine your funeral. And I want you to imagine who's there. How big is it? What are people saying about you while they're there? Shh, don't talk, just silently to yourself. Okay, open your eyes. Now, I want you to uh, turn to someone right next to you just for 20 seconds and share one or two of the images that came to mind as you thought about that. Turn to someone just for like 20 seconds. <laughs> switch, switch if you haven't. All right, time. Time forever. Dude, you guys got it. Ready? Time. All right, good, good, good. You guys are getting it. You guys are good over here. It's a good crew. All right, so very quickly, I think if we start to think, we want to begin with the end result in mind. I don't know if you guys ever heard that principle. It's a very good one. If you're thinking, what do you want to accomplish in life? It's good to think about the end of your life. But guess what? You can't control when you die. You can't control how you die. So I hope that even as you started to think about that, beginning with the end result of mine, you started to think about, how do I actually live? How am I going to live? And that hopefully is a little bit, not disturbing, but also enlivening. And you guys are making this huge jump, this huge transition where you're graduating high school. And I will guarantee you this, if you'll become obsessed about serving others, and giving your life away, you will have success in this life. My mentor, another mentor, would always say, you know what we do in life? 
And wherever you do, whether you're in business or nonprofit or teaching or manual labor or whatever you're going to end up doing, if you'll hold a crown above other people's heads and let them grow up into it, you will actually be fulfilled. You will actually be satisfied. That is one of the recipes for success in this life, becoming obsessed with others. And so that's why I wanted you to kind of think about your funeral and think, ah, let's begin with the end result in mind. What would this thing look like? So the more you serve others, the more your life will be significant.